morning, as uh, Dr. McConnell was uh, stating, Wake Forest Innovations has a very clear mission, and that is to develop, create new healthcare products and services uh, with industry based on our research, our discoveries, our ideas, inventions, and our, our research assets. We are fortunate to have based here in Winston-Salem a fantastic school of medicine that has within it about 1,100 investigators. We have sharpened our research focus in recent months, focusing very much on areas uh, where we are investing, including in cell development and therapy, regenerative medicine, metabolism, and, uh, and cognition. All of this work is the uh, seed corn for Wake Forest Innovations to be able to work with our investigators to turn those uh, ideas that they have into products and services. Today, we are making a number of announcements around the uh, commercialization effort here at Wake Forest. Essentially, Wake Forest is open for business. We are launching five web-based engagement portals. Uh, within there, there are described 25 new uh, scientific contract services. We're also uh, reiterating up to 80 technologies that we have available for licensing. And we have access through these engagement portals to over 1,000 of our investigators who are there to work with uh, industry and other agencies. We are also announcing a new name for the PTRP. We are also uh, announcing the, uh, uh, and welcoming two new companies into uh, the research park. And we're also announcing the expansion of uh, one of our existing uh, company tenants. The main portal for Wake Forest Innovations is now live. It went live three minutes ago. It contains a number of mini portals into our technology base, into our scientific contract services. Uh, we have also launched uh, three new dot coms uh, based on those contract uh, services, uh, scientific service businesses. These are in preclinical translational services. They are in our core lab services where we're aggregating a large number of activities from around Wake Forest into this uh, one portal, as well as furthering our ultrasound education uh, business. And of course, we're sitting here in the center of the research park, which we now believe is uh, a part of this new hub for innovation in biomedical technology, in materials, nanomaterials science, and in information technology. Of course, we're in a, a building that's part of a growing community, a community where people can not just work, we estimate that will be, uh, by the end of next year, growth from about 900 workers, employees, to uh, almost 2,800 employees in the research park by the end of 2014. It's also a place to live. There are a number of lofts here and a growing number of, uh, of places to live. We think there are going to be about 1,000 people living contiguous in, the, uh, in, in, this, in this area. Uh, it's also a place to learn. A great deal of education is going on, uh, not just to support our investigators in their science, but also entrepreneurs and innovators understanding the process of commercialization. And it's also a place to live and to play to play on your bicycle or to walk down the Green Park. I actually saw along the railway track what I thought was an antelope last week. It's a wonderful new community that's emerging around here. And because of that, we decided that uh, after consultation with all key stakeholders in the city and the state, uh, that we needed to rebrand and rename uh, this area as a place where a great deal of uh, new energy uh, is, is so evident. And the name that we've chosen is Wake Forest Innovation Quarter. Wake Forest Innovation Quarter is now live. It went live eight minutes ago, and uh, we have our own uh, uh, website, uh, wakeforestinnovationquarter.com. The tenants of the park, who are not Wake Forest uh, uh, aff affiliates, of course, may use um, uh, Innovation Quarter uh, when describing where they are locating, located. And we do have a number of co-branding opportunities for them. So Innovation Quarter on this side of uh, Winston-Salem is the new place, the new hub for innovation in uh, biomedical technology, in material science, and also in information technology. We're also announcing today uh, three uh, company uh, pieces of news. Asinex, 
which has been in the uh, innovation quarter now for several years, is growing from 11 to 30 folks by the end of this year. They have decided to locate their uh, US uh, headquarters here in one technology place, and they will be expanding into a plug and play facility that we've created for them, uh, which used to be in the old Targacept, uh, Targacept space. In fact, Asnex have recruited, will be recruiting many uh, of the old Targacept chemists. Uh, Bioelucidation, uh, a new startup company which is uh, also located in one technology place, offering preclinical liability testing services to industry is now up and running, as is Blue Atom Technologies, very interesting company like the others, uh, developing uh, IT-based predictive models for understanding uh, drug, drug behavior. So these are exciting developments for uh, the Wake Forest Innovation Quarter, for uh, Wake Forest and for our community, and we're very proud to welcome those new tenants into the Innovation Quarter. Thank you.